took a few critical knocks last year, but the story about a talented young wizard was a huge commercial success, taking in close to one billion dollars. The second film in the series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, opens this Friday, and the star of the movie, Daniel Radcliffe, says, "You ain't seen nothing yet." <laughs> Yeah. Harry Potter. Such an honor it is. The second film is even better. I think it's a, it's a lot darker and it's a lot edgier, but at the same time, you've got people like Kenneth Branagh and Rupert Grint when he's belting out the slugs that provide a balance of kind of um, wow. no a darker side and a lighter side. Brachium. Emendo. Oh. 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 Ah, yes, well, uh, that can sometimes happen. Uh, I read somewhere when, when they were casting the movie, which took forever and ever and ever, and they found you, they said, we really felt like we found Harry Potter. Do you feel like Harry Potter? I think it's something that will probably in the future result in therapy, because I'm getting more and more into my part, and it's getting kind of harder to differentiate between me, because as time goes on, I'm finding more things that connect us both. The more, like, books, I, when you read the fourth book and stuff, you find out even more things that we're both like. It's really weird. As I watched you in this movie, I just thought, you so own it. I mean, you just said, look to me so comfortable in it, and... Your voice is so strong, and your your presence your presence on screen. Is it because the script is good? Is it because it's comfortable on the set? Is it because you're just good at what you do? Well, I think it's probably the main reason is probably because it's such a fantastic atmosphere on the set, mm -hmm. and obviously because um, the script is so fantastic and so are the books. I think you just get a sense of in reading both the books and the script. Um, that you get a sense of how Harry is around the school. Mm -hmm. And so I just tried to bring that out on the screen. And uh, your co-stars, your uh, your classmate co-stars, I think, are particularly good. The guy who plays Ron, yeah. wonderful, and the uh, young lady who plays her, Hermione. Just the, and it looked like it was an awful lot of fun to do. Yes. That's being tampered with, that ass. I'll stop it. No. Even with a proper wand, it's too risky. You could hit Harry. We're all, to a certain extent, we're kind of quite like our characters. Mm -hmm. And um, because our characters bond because of who they are, mm -hmm. and I think because we're kind of like them, we all bond the same way. How is it to be you? I mean, your friends must know what you do. People who meet you know what you do. To be in such gigantic hit movies and to have... I mean, there must be some weight associated with being the person who plays Harry Potter. All my friends treat me exactly the same as we always have. We always do exactly the same stuff, mm. which means basically we have pizza parties and we just come around and eat pizza and be lazy. Right. But I think some people think that because of the weight, whatever, I mean, that I won't have had a normal childhood. Well, I don't think, for me, a normal childhood isn't necessarily going to school every day. A normal childhood is just like having loads of fun, and that's what I've been doing the last two years. Mm. Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. The plan, I guess, is to do seven movies in all. Could you possibly... How many do you think you can do? I'm definitely doing the third one. Mm -hmm. After that, who knows, really. It's too far. Each one takes a year to do, so I think... I think I'll just take the third film, I'll take one film at a time, and then right. see. Yeah. Do you want to keep acting? Who knows? It's definitely, obviously, one of the things I have, like... I'm incredibly enthusiastic and I love I love doing it so maybe in the future I'll go on to act but also I like writing and maybe directing as well yeah. so. right because as amazing as this is I wonder you know five years from now is it possible for someone 13 to fast forward and think will I ever be able to shake <laughs> Harry Potter or will you be for Harry Potter forever and ever I mean I like if I do go on to act in the future I would like to kind of separate myself from the part mm -hmm. but it's not that I don't want to be remembered as well for doing Harry Potter because Harry Potter is such a major achievement so I don't it's not something I want to just forget and the young actors who play Harry's best friends Ron and Hermione will be here on Thursday we're back in a